What's up, dude? Hi, this is Nir from Novisan, and today I'm going to show you how to install a new Android player. Let's do it. First thing I'd like to do is to sign up for a new user. So, I'll go to Novisan website. I'll press Start Now. And this brings me to the sign up page where I need to type my full name, my email address. I should use a real email address because this is what is going to be used as my Novisign user account. Otherwise, I won't be able to change my password in the future. Also, I need to type my new password, my phone number. Then I need to read the terms of service. And uh, of course, if I agree, I will check the checkbox. And last thing, I will type my company name in case I have a company. And last thing, I'll press the button, create an account. Now this brings me into my account in the online studio. Now first thing I'd like to do is to enter the media library and upload my images and videos. I can also upload some documents. So I need to press the upload, then choose a couple of images or videos from my desktop. Now it's going to upload them one by one. I can close the media library and I can click that icon in order to see the upload process. I can see that it's progressing, almost finished. And now I have three images and two videos in my studio account, which were uploaded from my desktop. I can close those notifications. And if I'd like, I can upload more media files. So I choose them from my desktop. I can use the control or the shift in order to select a range of items. Now, I also get another notification, uploads finished, I can check that, press the X, and I won't see that anymore. Now, if I'd like any of them to become creative, what would I do? I will choose them, because now they're already in my studio account, but these I would like to turn into creatives. Creatives are the building blocks of every playlist. So, I just turned two images and one video into simple creatives. Two simple image creatives and one simple video creative. Now pressing that button, Compose from Template, allows me to compose a new composed creative. This is a cool creative which has a lot of widgets and a lot of zones within. So I can do many things. I can create it from a template and this is what I'm doing now. I'm changing the template by making changes in the canvas. Now I've just dragged an image from my library. This is being done by drag and drop. I have a big arsenal of widgets like as the image widget, the video widget, which I'm now replacing over the canvas. I can resize that by dragging and dropping or also by setting the left top width and height properties of that widget. So now I'm going to add an RSS widget. This is a news feed. So I chose CNBC in this case. I can add more and more widgets to make my creative look richer. So now I've just added the weather widget. I'm going to choose a different location such as Boston, Massachusetts. Press OK and voila. I can make more changes like setting that into Fahrenheit degrees, also remove the visibility. If I'd like, I can change the styling, that means the content format. So I'll increase the font size, also make it bold, and that looks much better. If I like, I can also set a different background. Gradient, solid, different colors.
now let's add another widget this one is the label widget we have a label widget and a text widget in which you can type text so I'm just typing something I can change the styling and this is going to be blue let's make it maybe a little bit bigger bold italic yes much better Now let's add a clock widget. I can change the format. I can also change the styling. And now we have a running clock on our creative. Let's change the background, make it look a little bit different than the other widgets on the canvas. And also do the same with this one. The last thing I'd like to do is to change the creative name into something which has some meaning, such as my first composed creative. I'll press the save button in the top right corner. In order to save the creative, you can see the red progress bar from left to right. And I can also press the preview button in order to get a preview of how this creative is going to look. So now it's about time to create my first playlist. I go to the playlist tab and then I click the new playlist. I need to give it a name such as my first playlist. And I'm going to drag a couple of my existing creatives into the main frame of the playlist while I'm still in edit mode. I can change a couple of things like the duration in the playlist of each of the creatives. You can see that it's in seconds. Now, just like uh, in the radio where I have a playlist which is a song after a song after a song, in NoviSign, a playlist is actually a creative after creative or after creative. Actually, this is the content. So pressing create just created my first playlist. I can also enter that in edit mode in order to make changes. Now, once I go into screens, I need to create my first screen. Every screen under screens is actually supposed to reflect a real display, a real unit in the real world. So I said I gave it a name, storefront entrance, and I also assigned a playlist for that. So this is all that needs to be done. I can also modify my playlist even after I assign that to a screen. I can change the scheduling and this is what I'm doing now I'm setting some of the creatives to play on certain days in the week or on a certain date so they're going to be scheduled to be played in the future after I do all this scheduling I just need to press OK then press the update and my playlist is ready so now I'm just changing the dates because this particular creative I like to play between the 30th of August and the 31, 31st of August. That means for two days only. And it's ready. Now the content is ready. Now each screen has its own ID. We call it player key or screen key. Let me show you how do we get that. This is how we get that. It's a very long, unique identifier, which is going to be used later. So most installation of, uh, of a media player is, uh, is very similar, like uh, Android, Windows, and Chrome OS, but today we're going to do only Android. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have here a couple of things. I have an Android media box. This can also be a Windows media box, it can be a Chrome box, it can be anything else, but for the example, I'm going to use this one as a Android media player. This one is my Minix, it's called Minix Neo X10 Mini. Now, this comes with a power supply. I also have a TV. I have Wi-Fi. It can also be a, a LAN Ethernet cable. So, only for this installation, I also brought with me a keyboard and a mouse. Actually, we only need a mouse. A keyboard is just an extra uh, supplement, but the mouse will do the trick. 
So let's see what first thing should we do. First thing I'm going to connect that TV box to power. So we have power supply here. I'm just connecting the TV box this way. And I have an HDMI cable coming out from the TV just up to here. And I'm connecting that to my Android TV box. Now, the TV display is supposed to display whatever comes from the Android TV box by HDMI. And I'm also going to connect that to a mouse. So I have a mouse. To make things easier, I also brought with me a keyboard, but this is unnecessary, just this will just speed things up. So now I have a mouse and a keyboard connected to my Android media player. Okay, so first thing, once we started the, the media player, an Android media player, I'm going to the settings. So in the settings, first thing I'd like to do is to connect the internet. So in this case, we have Wi-Fi. I'm going to turn the Wi-Fi by turning that from off to on. Now it's going to detect a couple of Wi-Fi networks. Uh, I'll choose, uh, for example, this one. Novisign 2.4. So now it's been connecting to Novisign 2.4. And once I see a message here telling me connected, it means it has Wi-Fi. I can right-click the mouse in order to go back. Second thing I'd like to check is the date and time. So I click date and time. Well, it needs to be in my time zone. However, usually I would like to set automatic time zone and maybe even automatic date time. So the time zone will be taken from the router. Now, let's go back. And the next thing I would like to do is to set an account. That means set a Gmail account on that media player. So for that I'll press the accounts, I'll click add account, then Google, and now I will just follow step by step all the instructions till I get my Gmail set up all this media player. Okay, so I set up everything, everything is configured on my media box. Next thing I'm going to do is to download the Novisite app. We also call it the player app. This is the native Android app that's supposed to run on this media player. So there are two options to do that. First option is to open a browser. And when I open a browser, I can go to our download website, which is actually app.novisign.com slash download. Now, once I go to this website, let's press go then I'm going to see always the last version, the ongoing version of the Android APK. I can download that from here just by clicking that. However, for this demonstration, I would like to show you how do I do that from the Google Play Store. Now, Google Play Store is an app that brings me to the Google Store, also known as the Market. Now, here I would type Novisign. And look, it already found something. Okay, so I found the Novisign Digital Signage app. I'm just going to click it, then press Install. And now, it's going to download the app on my media player. And once it's there, it's going to give me the option to open the app. Okay, so I'm opening the app. This is the Novisign app. Like you see, this is the entrance screen. This is where I type my screen key, or actually I can choose. I can choose the, the screen from my account, and this is what I'm just going to do now. I'm going to type my username, and the username which I chose was Dude Smith at Novisign. And the password was dude. And I'm just going to press login. Okay, so now I'm actually, I can see whatever I have there. I have two screens the one which was predefined when I created the account, and the second one was called storefront entrance. Okay, I'd like to have this, um, this uh, player app, this media player, to appear and stand in front of my store in the front entrance. 
Now, last thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to check this one. Check this checkbox, which says start automatically, so the app will start once the device reboots, just in case of power failure and so on. I'm just pressing now go, and now it's downloading all the media. Actually, my whole playlist is being downloaded and cached to this media player to be able to play offline. And like you see, take a look here, you can see that it's loading again and again, and this is my screen. Like you see, this is what I built in my online studio account. You can see everything here. That was very simple, very clear, should take you around 50 minutes to set up. And once I see that everything works okay, and I'd like to put it in production, I can right click to exit my playlist. Then I'll click the gear icon in order to access the NoviSign settings of our app. And here the only thing which I need to do is to turn off the display notifications because now when I'm sure that everything runs smoothly, I'm going to turn that off in order not to see any notifications such as notifications when there's no internet. I'm going to right click to go back, press go, and it's up and running. Okay, now just to show you what happens when I plug it off power. Let's say that this is a power failure. Okay, no power. Now I'm putting that back power. Now it's back. By the way, no need for mouse. Definitely for not for keyboard. So we just have a media player with HDMI connected to the TV and power. That's all. Internet will come from Wi-Fi, and if there is no Wi-Fi, it will keep playing everything it has from cache. All the media was clashed, it was cached to this unit. So let's see what's going to happen now. Well, like you see, it's playing now, up and running. Everything was cached to the unit, so it will keep playing. Now it's also connected or not connected to the internet. Actually, I don't care. If there's internet problem, it will reconnect itself to the internet to check for new media, new playlist updates. And that's it. Very simple, very clear, straightforward. Again, this is Nir from Novisan Digital Signage. Thank you for watching. Signing out.